Hello, darlings. I am Cassandra. Welcome back to the daily inspirational oracle reading provided to you by the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. I'd like for you to take a moment and think about any issues, concerns, or problems you are having. And maybe you are looking for a new perspective, some insight, or just a sign from the universe as you are watching this energy check-in video. You may also allow your mind to settle into your heart, darling, and let whatever issues surface from your subconscious mind and let it resonate with this reading. After this reading, I am going to give you an opportunity to ask a yes or no question to the mystic beings, and you will select card one, two, or three, and they will give you an answer to your question. The first card I have for you, darling, is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you today is, get in focus here. Your wealth is weaved into the fabric of your earth suit. So your wealth is weaved into the fabric of your earth suit. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And her message to you today is talk less and love more. And the last card I have for you today is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is never apologize for loving with all of your heart. My collective intuition for today's reading is your earth suit is let me read it. Your your wealth is weaved into the fabric of your earth suit. So your earth suit has an ethnicity, it has you know software for your purpose, where you belong. It's about where you belong and fit in the society and finding that group, whether it is an artistic group, a spiritual group, a learning group, um, but it's where you fit in this world. And knowing that you came here equipped, your soul, your spirit incarnated into this earth suit, darling, you it was prepared for this journey for to planet earth and if you look at the things that you're interested in the things you like to do that would tell you where you belong it would tell you where the people are who resonate with you like you know how that saying is your vibe is your tribe or something like that but basically the cars are asking you to tap into what you are passionate about be honest about what you love. Never apologize for loving with all your heart. If you love video games, child, you love video games. If you love making dolls, you love making dolls, right? Whatever it is that you love, that is what you need to tap into. And when you tap into what you love, you're going to find your your group. So talk less and love more. The cards are saying that you know, a lot of times people, words get in the way of truth. And people say, you know, well, I I want a guy who is six feet tall and da 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 who make this amount of money. But, or I want somebody who is A, B, C, D, and E. The cards are saying, don't put a label on what it is that you're, you know, that you're looking for because you're blocking it. You're going to block those people from your life. You're going to block those opportunities from your life. So still don't, don't give it words because words are going to get in the way of what is really, what it is that you need to, what you're really looking for. You're looking for frequency. That's why it says talk less and love more. When you love more, you're putting out a frequency of what you are truly authentically attracted to and you're sending out their vibration to those beings to those people to those opportunities right and that's what you want to do you don't want to one of the things i have found sometimes is that you know i have people say um i you know i want to be a teacher but i really don't like speaking in groups so i always tell them then don't say you want to be a teacher just 
think about what you love. Like, what do you do? You love, um, you know, just when you're in the, an opportunity where you are doing something that you really love. Just say, I really love talking to people one on one. Don't give it a don't give it a title. I really like a man who is kind and who is who calls when he says he's gonna call. When you give something a title, then you you may lose an opportunity to attract what authentically resonates with your spirit. Does that, does that make sense what I'm saying? So just tap into the love. Don't tap into the, the labels. Tap into what you love and let the universe bring that to you. Also, never apologize for loving with all your heart. It's just simply whatever you love, you don't have to apologize for being who you are. If you, but, but the, but the overall message is you really need to figure out what you're passionate about and what you love without catch yourself being happy. Catch yourself in a moment of joy. Do you love romantic movies? Maybe you could write columns or write a, a, a blog about movies. Let's say you love, um, you know, the reality shows and you feel guilty about it. Maybe you need to start a YouTube channel where you start talking about what happened on the housewives and, you know, give your insight, your ins you know, and, you, and maybe, you know, just give your your flavor to um, a review, right? Or you could write a blog about a review. Because once you get honest about what it is that you really love and, and what makes you happy, what brings you joy, then you're going to find out where you belong, right? Which is your earth suit. So the message for you today, darling, is to be honest with yourself about who you are and where you belong tap into that passion so you can attract the people in your life who will appreciate you just the way you are and when you tap into your truth and what you really love what you enjoy doing this is going to bring about abundance but you can't bring about abundance and prosperity without being honest about you know what makes you happy and who you are and this reminds me of our, of the movie um, love and basketball I uh, love in basketball, which is actually one of my all-time favorite movies. Um, I'm drawing a blank on her name right now, but <laughs> um, Sanaa Lathan plays the the lead character, but I'm drawing a blank on the character's name. She realized that she loved basketball. That was like an innate part of her earth suit, and she also loved her boyfriend. So she tapped into what she loved, and she, this is how she brought everything to her do you understand what i'm saying because whatever you love and like if you can dribble a ball if you like to cook if you like to paint if you like to sing if you like to dance those are all characteristics of naturally of, of who you are naturally and when she she tapped into what she really loved she was able to get everything that she wanted and it also reminds me of the movie jerry Maguire when I, there was a part when Tom Cruise was telling him, you know, just do what you, he said, just do what you love or just, you know, like the love for the game. He said, I will bring you the qualm, which means the coins and the love. So you're being asked to think about what, what do I love? What do I really love to do? Like the way that you're made right now, darling. Everything about you, what you what you enjoy, what you dislike. If you were to really just examine your earth suit and its capabilities, right? What 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 do you, what would you um, say that would be maybe a good fit for you, a good crowd for you, a good place to belong on the planet? So that is the message I have for you today. Now, i like for you to think of a question, darling, and I want you to choose a number from one to three. And I am going to pick a card from the Mystic Beings, and they are going to give you a yes or no, or maybe, or I don't know answer, right? This is just for fun, so I want you to think of your question. If you, if you have selected number one, this card is for you. 
So um, we're going to see um, what the answer is for people who selected number one. And it is no. She's a piece. Is it? So it's the question if you selected number one, the answer is no. So for those of you who selected number two, oops, I'm just going to let that card fall. i like for you to think of your question. And I'm going to have the Mystic Beings answer it. And we're going to see what their answer is to you. Do you have your question, Valerie? Are you ready? Okay, so we're looking for the answer for people who selected number two. What does this say? It says, let me see. I'm going to have to read it. You already know what to do. Stop pretending. So if you selected number two, the cards are telling you that you already know what to do, so please stop pretending. That is the answer for anyone who selected number two. So now, if you've selected number three, I'm going to pick the Mystic Bean to answer your question. Go ahead and formulate your question, darling. And are you ready for the answer? So the answer for people who selected number three from the Mystic Bean is pray about it. So if you selected number three, the mystic being is asking you to pray about it. And if I were you, I don't know what you believe in, but pray about it, meditate on it, think about it, and uh, look within your soul for insight. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you, darling in the next video.